really one of those that you tell you about the experiences and the people you play with. And so I say every season a success in that matter. What does it say about you guys that after the back leg losses, you get here to this point, you give Ohio State a run for the money? Yeah, I'd say we're a resilient group that keeps believing no matter what happens. And, you know, we're going to rebound and be excited for our next opportunity. You, know, you and Quintez, you know, had so much success in the first half. Did Ohio State change anything up to try and take that away? Um, I'd say, you know, in the second half a little bit, they were playing more zone. And then uh, safety-wise, the safety was kind of cheating to our side a little more, but uh, it was pretty much it. Just overall, with the, did they do anything schematic? I mentioned a little bit more about the schematic. Is there anything else that they did in terms of pass rush or looks that were different from what you saw in the first half? Yeah, I mean, like I said, just a little more zone in the second half, but uh, I think it just came down to playmaking and play, making plays in the right moment. Speaker Williams. What was kind of the message at halftime? Obviously, you guys played so well, and then coming out of, coming out in the third quarter, what was kind of the talk in the line? Yeah, basically just keep going, you know, uh, stay locked in, and just keep believing. What was the message after the game? Um, it was basically, you know, we're all disappointed in the loss. But um, we're all extremely thankful, you know, be able to play the game we love with a bunch of brothers that we love. And uh, this was an unbelievable experience we just had. What worked, you know, what was different about the run game this time around, you know, the last two times Wisconsin's played Ohio State? Jonathan's been you know, almost a non factor. You know, what, what got him going today, do you think? Yeah, I'd say it was just the hard work of the O line, receivers downfield blocking, and then just JT just putting it all out there for us. I know it's out of your guys' control, but given the way you guys played today, especially against one of the best teams in the country, do you guys deserve that Rose Bowl? Um, I'm not really sure. I think we're going to be thankful for whatever bowl we go to and be excited about it. Thanks.